There's a whole heap of piper back here. I want to catch a decent one. Oh, there's a few, a few other fish coming in. The kingfish must be not far away now. Just a question of how long I can stay out here. It's reasonably safe, but I want to get a piper. Hey, going good bastards. Apologies for the audio getting blown on the GoPro. I've come home from a fishing trip. I thought, oh, I won't show you guys it because a lot of shit went wrong. And then I thought, well, actually, I've got to stop doing that because let's face it, if you just show your highlights all the time, everybody thinks you're great and I'm far from great. In fact, I don't even know why people actually sponsor me. And speaking of sponsors, these guys here, well, they don't pay me, but they give me really good gear. I don't know why they believe in me because I'm a shit fisherman, but still they nice shirts and these hats from Jigstar, Max or Real. I don't know if you saw the opening of this baby. This is for catching kingfish and other big fish. This is the Transformer. It's a beautiful, oh mate, it's next level. You can buy it at any good hunting and fishing store, I guess. Uh, if it's not there, they should have it because it's, it's top shelf stuff. It's what you, you use if you're fishing like Three Kings here in New Zealand or ran Furley Banks or anywhere where there's like big game. Chris Wong's a bloke that knows more about catching probably kingfish than I know about anything. He, he's the basically the grandfather of catching kingfish in New Zealand and he, he gifted me this and I really am grateful for it. Thanks again Chris. Uh, will I catch kingfish on it? Yes, I'm going to make it 2021 my my bucket list to catch a really good kingy. I have caught kingfish before, but they've all been just unlucky fish. I want to catch one where I outsmart the fish, not where I just catch a dumb fish like the last fish I caught. I mean, the last fish was the most unluckiest kingfish in the world to be caught because I did everything wrong you could think of, and still somehow by just some miracle I end up in my kayak. It shouldn't have, but it did. So this here is a, a new braid. It's 13, I think it's 13 strand. I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody knows about this, but it's a really, it's a new one, very, very good. And the Transformer reel, of course, is just um, not to die for. So I was fishing today with this, didn't hook into a kingy, but I hooked into a few other things. And as you will see, start off with three of us fishing and end up with just one of us. Two of us got quite sick. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the water where we went out this morning. Enjoy this video. Gonna meet up with another mate, one of my patrons who wishes not to be filmed. Hell, I can understand that. You can understand that, eh, son? But uh, that's the way it is with a lot of people they just don't want to be on camera. I get that totally. Yana's really sick, don't know why. So I'm going to give you a hug and say, stay behind. I'll go out with Jason and um, you hang out here, okay? But something's he's eating or, I don't know. I'll go fishing without you, bugger. If you feel well, just come in here. I'm ready to sail on the ocean I'm ready to sail out to sea I'm ready to sail on the ocean To bring some fish home for tea That lead the fish to me Right. We've been paddling
running for about an hour, and we're just going to drop the anchor here. I saw a few car wire underneath us, so we'll see how we get on. About 10 metres of water. Got a little piper. Happy days. Have you got your Sabiki rig down? You want to get it down, bro? It's down there. That's cool. That's a good one, too. I'm quite sure how to do this because I haven't done it before. Oh, mate. Just under the spine. Don't know. Is he going to swim still? Not very bloody well. Well, oh. he's still got a wee bit of twitch on him. Down you go, catch me a kingy. Today I'm specifically targeting kingfish and it's hit and miss out here because they don't get around in big packs like they do in other places. You get the odd one mooching through and we've got burly out and garfish. I want to show you my rig. This is a Maxwell reel, it's a transformer. This winch can handle pretty much anything that gets thrown at it. This is a Jigstar rod obviously. Well, maybe it's not that obvious but that's what I'm using because I'm, uh, I'm a Jigstar man. And this is the the winch and I have yet to blood it. I haven't caught a fish on it yet, it's the first day today. And like I said, it's pretty much hit and miss. Well, there's no topical action on the water. There's no birds diving, there's no boil ups. We're basically burling out, trying to bring the smaller fish in around the boat in hopes that it might bring the odd kingfish. You won't know if you don't try. And yesterday, took a young Rangi Hedi Hedi out here and he smashed it. He smashed it on a piper, which is what I'm fishing with too. And he caught a nice, 25 pound kingfish right where we are today and I've caught them here before too I haven't landed, I've only actually ever landed one and that was just an unlucky fish because I'm not particularly good at fishing and playing fish but I do have the right gear now finally so it's a waiting game and it can take hours and hours and hours yesterday we are out for 7 hours before we got a strike of just putting burly out all the time so I've just done a whole lot of fish I hope my girlfriend's not hearing this car wire I cut up and burly that from yesterday's fishing I'll get my balls chopped off, she knows I'm using that for burley, but it's all I had. Well, not quite true, I also got this here. And I bought this, but it is expensive to buy, so ideally you're using what you catch, the guts and all that. I would say another half hour, we'll have a whole lot of piper in here, so it's the waiting game, just to wait. I actually have caught one piper so far, just one random one out here, but there'll be more coming when they start sniffing this. And my mate down there, Jason, he's in my burley line there, so that's why he's set up there. Oh. Bit of a fighter. Yeah, that's a good car white. Jeez, yeah. That's a fighting fish. Hell of a fighting fish. It's a bit, I reckon I got a bigger car white this time, bro. Yeah. He's going for, he's on a tiny little hook. Tiny little hook for catching bloody piper and he's bloody fighting good. Holy shit. Jeez. I got a tiny wee hook on this thing's going to town on me, man. He's feeding that line guard 100 mile. Up. Whoa. Be lucky to land this. This is like catching a trout, eh? What the hell is this? It's a bigger, bigger fish than I thought it was. Bloody hell. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, nice car white. It's a good size one, eh? A tiny little number, buddy. Six hook. A little trout hook. Jeez, I'll be lucky to land that in the boat. Oh, it's right at the corner of his mouth, too. Oh, mate, we're going to get you in? Probably not. Ooh, we'll be lucky. We'll be bloody lucky to get him in. Oh, yep, yeah, in the boat. That's a nice sashimi fish. Good fun. That was fun. Well, sadly, it's been a day for people getting sick. Uh, Jason, me mate, to come out to fish with me has just gone on seasick. It is a bit rough out here. So he's gone on and he's left with me this, uh, the one I gave him, this little toy rod. I bought at the hunting and fishing shop for 40 bucks. She's budget. This is like something you buy your daughter to fish off the wharf at Mapua and catch tiny little bloody herrings, not kawai. It's very questionable whether this is going to actually even come on this bloody fish. It's probably a kawai. I'm trying to catch Piper off my burley line, but no, it's a kawai. He's going to be... Is it a kawai? 
Yeah, bloody cow white. It'd be a good live bait though, wouldn't it? I've got a live one on there already. G'day mate, how you doing? I'm using a buff that Rangy Heady Heady gave me, which was supposed to be around my face. But uh, anyway, well, if I had a live bait tank, I'd keep them for live bait, but I don't. So I'm going to keep them for dead bait. The hardest thing uh, is trying to bait up when you're bloody got waves, not falling out of the fucking boat. But we've got Burley out here, so we're going to keep on fishing. We've got a little piper on there now, I think. There he goes. Get him in. Coming in. Plays big game fishing charters. Hey, that's a big one too. Nice one. Oh, I fell off nicely. Thank you. Do that again. Don't jump in. Oh, no. 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 Oh, fuck. I lost it. The mackerel. Oh, he's tagging around the bloody burly line. Great. Get a few white caps there. All right. There we go. Oh, I didn't want a car. Well, I wouldn't know the bloody. Piper. Feels like a cow one to me. Jeez, these fucking waves are getting big. Come on, mate. I wanted to catch a piper, not a bloody cow one. Trying to get a piper fish. Kingfish bait. Just a bloody. What have we got there? A couple of bloody. Oh, we've got one piper and one cow one. The old Sabikis are great, aren't they? Oh, we lost the cow one. That's good. And the fucking hook. Took that too, bastard. Oh well, that's what I wanted. That one's a bit small. I wanted a bigger one than that. Oh, he swallowed the whole bloody hook. Now we're gonna get that out of you, mate. We're not. We're not gonna get you as a live bait. You're gonna be a dead bait, sorry. Now we can uh, at least get this out of here. Fucking waves have come up. Something pretty big, eh? Jeez! Probably should go in, so... Probably can't realistically fish in this much longer, but I'm gonna keep trying anyway. We've got Piper hanging around us here, I'm gonna catch one of these again. Burley's bringing them in. They don't care about a bit of sea. Neither the kingfish. They'll be down there. They'll be coming up by now. There's a whole heap of piper back here. I want to catch a decent one. Oh, there's a few, a few other fish coming in there. Kingfish must be not far away now. It's a question of how long I can stay out here. It's reasonably safe, but I want to get a piper. Fuck me, here's another big wave. Point back up into the swell a bit there. She's good. Sort of multitasking a bit here. because the uh, wind and the waves are going in a slightly different direction. So I have to keep correcting myself and pointing up into the, the waves while I'm fishing. Makes it a bit challenging. We're on too. Oh, bloody cow I was hoping it was a piper. This adds to the uh, fun of bloody fishing and trying to fucking keep your boat up right. Didn't want to catch another car, why?
We're now at the point where it's getting too bloody dangerous to keep fishing. We're gonna ass over soon. This guy can just go behind me a little bit. Now we're going sideways here, so this is a bit fucking dodgy. Now we're just crank that. Keep on going. And we're off the bottom now, that's good. Safe. Put it in the boat. Barely soon. We're fucking off out of here. This is getting too dangerous. Turn around quick before that bus gets us. There we go. Sweet as. Gonna tow that car wire in, but I don't expect to catch much on it. Taking the hat off because it's gonna get blown off out here anyway. And some of you might be asking, why haven't I got a leash on this? Well, that's because of her hair. Well, I've actually got one, but it's here. That's it there. That there's for my new, my new rod. My new Jigstar. For the Maxwell reel. That's worth more than my life, so that's why I've got it on there in the panel. Make sense? The ocean shares bountiful, but you take your life. Hazelay, go steady out on the water and always respect the sea. You should see these waves, that's huge. It's massive. Don't have complacency For many a fool has been Lost, lost on the sea Look at that car wire deserved to live. He's had a hook through his back and through his nose for the last two and a half hours. Still alive and kicking, so why not? The forecast was for it to come up rough like that, but it came up rougher than I was expecting. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the clip. Good luck with your own fishing. Can't be going any worse than mine was today. Thanks for watching. Be good, can't be good, be careful, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Right, gotta phone my son, pick me up.